Hi, I'm Lisa Watson of Lisa Loves Love, and today I want to do a video for you on empathy. I didn't realize that I was an empath until just about two years ago, and obviously I've been an empath my entire life. I didn't just become one overnight, um, but I recently just realized what it means to be an empath, and it opened my eyes to so many things about myself. You know, realizing that, oh wow, that's why my moods change when I'm in crowds of people or when I'm around some someone whose vibration is low or grumpy or why I'm so sensitive and always trying to be a people pleaser. So over the past couple of years, I've really gotten to be part of the spiritual community and hear, you know, what's going on there. And, and what, I, what I have heard sounds to me like a lot of people think that empathy is a disability and I am here to break that myth because empathy is not a disability. Empathy is a superpower and let me tell you how. So, you know, being an empathetic person, you take on other people's energy. That's what it means. You're just very sensitive to to other other people's energy. It's It's a very intuitive gift because you're able to know how somebody feels simply by being in their energy field and you don't even need them to talk or you don't even need to see them. You can just feel how people feel. And when you think about it that way, that's a psychic gift. Being, being an empath is truly a psychic gift. But the way that we can use it to our advantage instead of feeling like it's a disability is to simply change our perception about it and change our, our point of view of, of what, it, what it truly is. So let me just give you an example. So you walk in, you're an empath, you walk into a room, maybe you go in, it, maybe it's a party or um, even a restaurant or something like a, a networking event or something and, and you walk in and suddenly you feel bombarded by the low vibration in the room. Or maybe it's a vibration of anger or uh, resentment or jealousy or, you know, it's just, it's not a joyful vibration. The old empath in you might have been like, oh, geez, I got to get out of here. I can't handle this. You know, I'm taking on too much. I can't do this. But here's the trick. The new empath in you is going to become the superhero of the room. So this is all you have to do. So once you walk into that room and you realize, oh, okay, this energy is not quite what feels right to me. I want you to take a minute and you can do this. You can leave and go to the restroom and do it if you have to, or you can simply do it while standing there with your eyes open if you want. Imagine, first of all, a shield around you. Just put some sort of beautiful light. It could be a golden light. It could be blue light, it could be a rainbow light, put that around you and hone in on your energy field and really ground yourself. That's the most important thing is just become grounded. Once you've done that, I want you to imagine something that you love, just that absolute beautiful feeling of love. For me, I imagine how I feel about my sons. I just, I picture playing with them and talking to them and just times that we've spent together that have just been so loving and the smiles on their faces and my heart just, I allow my heart to just feel that love, feel my, my heart just getting bigger and bigger and more full. And I hold that feeling of love and then I push it out into the entire room. So just push it out to the room and use your powers of imagination to imagine this beautiful love energy coming out of you in waves and just engulfing the entire room. Not only will you feel better, you will not feel impacted by other people's energy because you're sitting in this field of complete protection and love, but you will shift the energy of the room. And I'm telling you, that's a superpower. So I just wanted to share this video. 
this quick little thing to tell you that if you're an empath and you think it's a disability and you have trouble being around lots of people and out in public, all you need to do is shift your viewpoint and know that you are a superhero. So please visit my website, lisaloveslove.com and check out my podcast, The Enlighten Up Podcast. And thank you so much.